Tappy activated. Hi, Crypto Crew. Processing finished. Get ready to download data on Layer 2 blockchains. First, let me activate my allegory protocol. Layer 1 blockchains are the foundations of the entire blockchain universe. Think of them as the main roads where everything happens. Transactions, travel back and forth, and all the traffic rules are enforced. These are the big names you've probably heard of. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ton, and others. These networks process and finalize transactions all on their own. No outside help needed. An extra info influx. Layer 1 blockchains are built to tackle the big three of blockchain. Security, scalability, and decentralization. They're designed to be super safe, handle loads of traffic, and not rely on one central authority. That's why they use cool tech like consensus algorithms. How the network agrees on transactions, sharding, dividing the network into smaller chunks for efficiency, and network upgrades. If Layer 1 is the main road, Layer 2 are the express lanes running alongside. They're built on top of Layer 1, taking on a lot of the heavy lifting. The Ethereum mainnet processes over 1 million transactions every day. Sadly, it can't keep up with the high demand. This leads to network congestion, which makes gas fees very expensive. As transaction costs rise, many people struggle to use decentralized apps like exchanges or NFT marketplaces. The solution to this problem is Ethereum Layer 2 blockchains. My processors are telling me the explanation is needed. Layer 2 solutions make things faster and cheaper by reducing the traffic on the main highway. Instead of clogging up Ethereum's main network with every single transaction, Layer 2 handles most of the work off-chain and only checks back with L1 when necessary. Among them, there are lower fees, faster transactions, and an all-around smoother experience. Electrifying! It's why Ethereum's ecosystem has leaned so heavily on Layer 2 as it grows. As of now, over $30 billion worth of value is locked in Ethereum's L2 solutions. That's a lot of crypto! Now, I bet I'll make your circuits buzz with shock. L2s aren't actually blockchains in the way Layer 1s are. They're more like extensions or power-ups for already existing blockchains. While L1s like Bitcoin and Ethereum have their own systems for validating transactions through mining or staking, L2s depend on L1 for security and validation. When L2 processes a bunch of transactions, it bundles them up and sends them to L1 for final confirmation. Let me decipher this in a different way. While L2s take care of the grunt work off-chain, L1 is still the final authority. Let me upload the results of my analysis. Ethereum's roadmap includes a feature called Dank Sharding, which promises to handle over 100,000 transactions per second. That's like upgrading the main highway with turbo lanes everywhere. But even with all that power, experts like Vitalik Buterin think L2s, like StarkNet, will still play a huge role because they bring extra flexibility and efficiency, allowing Ethereum to cater to all sorts of projects big and small. My prediction processors can't tell what the future brings, but in any case, L2s are pushing Ethereum and other blockchains to be faster, more user-friendly, and ready for mass adoption. And with whispers of things like fee-free transactions in the works, we might be looking at the next big breakthrough for blockchain technology. Holy motherboard! What a time to live! Layer 1. The heavyweights of the blockchain world. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Ton. You've heard the names. Layers 1 are the base layers that handle everything, from processing to finalizing transactions. Think of them as your overachieving colleague who refuses to delegate. They bring decentralization, offer robust security with algorithms that keep hackers at bay, and provide sovereignty, giving developers and users full control over their projects and transactions. Now, Layer 2 blockchains are built on top of Layer 1s, like high-speed rails zooming above busy streets. They ease the load on the main chain, scaling things up, 
processing bajillions of transactions per second, cutting costs by redistributing the workload, and offering flexibility for developers to create smoother applications. Layer 1 is all about upgrading the base itself. It's where the heavy lifting happens, with improvements like sharding, tweaking consensus algorithms, or upgrading network architecture. In short, all major system-wide updates. Layer 2, on the other LED, doesn't tinker with the foundation. It builds on top of Layer 1, kind of like strapping a jetpack to a bot. The base stays the same, but now you're blasting through transactions at turbo speed. It's all about scaling without messing with the core and boosting performance while keeping the Layer 1 foundation intact. So, if you're building something that needs top-tier security and decentralization, and you're okay without massive scalability right out of the gate, Layer 1 is your go-to. But if you're chasing lightning-fast transactions, low fees, and scalability while keeping the strong Layer 1 foundation, then Layer 2 is your best bot. Now, if both layers got into a karaoke, who's belting out Eye of the Tiger and who's stuck singing Creep? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Tappy deactivated.